Hey everybody, um, today just wanted to do a kind of quick review on um, Nigel, which is uh, the new, um, if you have LabVIEW 2025 Q3 and for the future releases, um, this is basically your built-in AI for LabVIEW. So NI's taken this and basically trained it on their different you know, product manuals, test and measurement specific content. Um, so trying to have a nice um, LLM that you can use in LabVIEW for LabVIEW. So um, here I just want to kind of demo um, how it works, how you can use it. Um, I'm going to be honest, my initial impressions on this is that it's extremely underwhelming. Um, but yeah, wanted to review regardless just um, yeah, so others can see. Um, so you'll notice um, now you've got this kind of green icon here that says chat with Nigel AI Advisor. So that you can click from within LabVIEW and it will open up Nigel. Um, another thing um, you can do is if you open up Context Help and you hover over a VI, so I'm on this specific VI, it could be sub VIs, whatever, there's now this option here to discuss with Nigel. So you can click that. Um, Oh, there it goes. Um, so yeah, here is Nigel. Um, and yeah, so you can see right here, um, it automatically tried to describe the VI, so it loaded the block diagram in for us. It gives you some information about controls, indicators, default values, and then gives you an explanation of what the VI does um, and then you can always go in and you can you know um, ask it to do different things ask it for help um, with you know maybe making modifications to this asking for help how to do things in LabVIEW um, I um, it's done a okay ish job at describing VIs I've had it hallucinate a lot of stuff though um, so do be careful um, you know, if you're just trying to have it write documentation for you, you're going to want to double check that documentation. It can't just run on autopilot on its own. Um, so yeah, just one thing to be aware of. It's done a pretty good job at describing what code has done on the few examples that I've run it through, but I have caught a few things that it's completely just made up that weren't even a part of the code at all. So do be careful. Um, so yeah, this is nice, right? If you have some complex VI, you know, hey, what does this do, right? Maybe you're trying to understand it um, and you just want, you know, Nigel to break it down. I think that's an awesome use case. Um, great way to do that. Now, another use case. So let's say maybe we aren't look interested in that specific VI. So I just want to launch Nigel. I want to ask it some questions. Um, you know, it could be about anything. Now, one of the cool things about this is they're gearing it towards test and measurement specifically and specifically have trained it on like their own product manuals and stuff like that so in theory um, you know you have a great resource for asking it questions about ni hardware so for example let's say you know how do i wire a signal into ai0 on and NI9205 in RSE mode. So I can ask it that question. Um, hit send. Um, it's going to take just a second. And we get some response back. So I can see my signal needs to go into AI0 and my ground needs to go to COM. So you get some details there. Um, pretty simple. So, and this is all you know, correct, right, um, for doing like an RSE measurement. You also get some links, so if you're like, want to look into more information on maybe the NI9205, it's right there. So really useful if you're just like, hey, I need to take a measurement. I, I know I need to wire this in, how do I do that? Um, you can ask it questions about your hardware, ask it questions about capabilities. I think that's the, one of the awesome capabilities of Nigel. Um, and I feel like it's something that hasn't really been marketed as much as the LabVIEW capabilities. I, 
Um, I think one of its big selling points really could be helping people just ask a question about NI hardware, either how to wire it, how capabilities, things like that, or even saying, yeah, hey, what do you recommend hardware-wise for this? Um, so I think that's a cool capability. Um, and yeah, um, be careful though still. I have seen some nonsensical replies. Um, just one example um, right before this. I asked it how to do the exact same thing I just asked it to do, but in differential mode. So it gave me an answer saying, you know, AI0, AI8, um, and then uh, sensor ground. Um, and then it also generated this pinout of the device, which I have no clue, <laughs> clue what this is exactly. Um, that is definitely not the pinout on an NI9205. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, be careful using it, um, but I think this does have a lot of potential. So my initial thought is it's kind of underwhelming. I didn't really think it was much more anything special outside of like using like a chat GPT or something. The integration with your local LabVIEW instance is really nice where I can just say, hey, discuss a VI with Nigel. That's pretty nice, but performance-wise, I don't know if at least in terms of programming lab view i noticed much difference now the thing that i think is really cool is being able to ask it questions about hardware but like you saw this response down here at the bottom was spot on the one up at the top was completely wrong um so you will want to be careful with that um you know don't uh trust it too much at least initially and i do believe that over time that this can get better and better that you know as you know its responses get you know marked you know good bad um and they kind of fine tune all this i do think it can become significantly better so um yeah just my initial thoughts I wanted to share that this is available out there for anyone who wants to use it um, you do need to use LabVIEW 2025 Q3 or newer. And then um, this is included if you have active SSP with LabVIEW, um, then you are able to use Nigel. So um, as long as you have active, active SSP, so if you have a LabVIEW subscription or if you're on a perpetual plan that has SSP, um, then you're good to use Nigel. So um, yeah, just want to share my initial thoughts, kind of show how you can use it. Um, and yeah, like I said, I really do believe this can get significantly better. Um, so yeah, don't want to leave this necessarily on a negative note. I do think it has potential. Um, so I'm really hoping, you know, as, as time progresses, that this becomes a really powerful tool that helps engineers, um, LabVIEW programmers in general, um, accelerate their work, um, get answers to questions quicker, um, and, you know, help common tasks, right? Stuff that LabVIEW developers don't want to do. Hey. You know, what does this algorithm do? Cool, now I have documentation, I can load that. Hey, you know, how do I wire this in, right? The stuff that's not so fun. And, you know, saving time for the LabVIEW programmers to do the stuff that they do enjoy doing. So that's my review on Nigel. Um, hope that was helpful and thanks for watching. Canon Controls is your gateway to mastering LabVIEW. Dive into programming for data acquisition, industrial communications, and manufacturing automation. Explore how to enhance your projects with cybersecurity best practices. Join the journey to elevate your skills and secure your systems with every episode.